All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Olympia, Washington, presenting the challenger, Monster. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Mad King. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your command. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Both fighters throwing heat now. Game 
couple of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Head kick, that's a miss. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lead left punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Changes his stance. There's the kick. It's blocked. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking. Punch followed immediately up by a left. Look at him drive his shin and keep all the body with that body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Trying to hammer that lead leg. Ooh, big shot land. Just missing on the high kick there. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Back to the body shots now, that one blocked. Nice straight punch. Nice one, two there. Just misses there with the left. Back and forth we go. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big kick lands. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice body kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Side to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg. Check that one. What a punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. You got it. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Round one winding down here. It's the elbow there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. 
Oh, nice jab. Throws the right hand there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. You gotta flip this hip into that kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Good punch land. Blocks the shot. And just misses with that big right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. That right hand landed. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Big punch land. that body kick. Oh! Oh! Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! We go two minutes down here in the second round. Big body kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Lance with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Such a fast leg kick. To the left side. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Got the single collar tie. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of us. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, single collar tie now. Position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Nice head kick. Blocks that strike. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. That one certainly found the target. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice defense there. Huge block. Caught that kick there. Right hand punches the clinch. Nice punch land to the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, that's the end of the round. 
And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Yes, now you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Nice punch, man. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Sneaky head kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Big, big this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Blocks the strike. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, Whoa! what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his most. Go finish his fight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Just over three minutes to go now. Connects with a right. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Ooh, what a punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just a slip there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement for that shot. Oh, he might be out. Hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Single collar tie now. Nice punch lands over the top. Some nice back and forth action here. Trying to double up on that jab. All right, so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nice and done he knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of the kick, he would go right to his takedown, and it worked perfection. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very badly. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them 
the slightest advantage. Oh, oh it's hurt bad. It's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed it perfect. Oh, he might be out. What a round. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh! The Good side for him there. Lost that kick to the body. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they set. Oh, he needs to look at the finish line because he's got it very bad. Oh, and that one snaps the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, I'm not sure any heavyweight would have beat this champion, this man here tonight, the UFC heavyweight king, getting it done by TKO. The flurry of strikes just absolutely too much for his opponent here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO! Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all